Alright. First things first. You're gonna go to Cydia. Or installer if you have it. And you're going to go to download sections. Section, sorry. You click sections and then you're just gonna go to all packages. You're gonna scroll down and first you're gonna get boss prefs. It's gonna only, it's gonna look like this. So you're gonna download that, you're just gonna click it, and you're gonna click install, and then you're gonna click confirm. And then once you have that downloaded, you're gonna come down all the way down here till you reach I'm going to download OpenSSH. It's going to look like this. So download those two things. And once they finish downloading, you're going to go to Boss Press. Make sure Wi Fi is on. Make sure SSH is on. And another thing you're going to want to do is go to settings, then general, and auto lock. You're going to turn it off so it's on never. Alright, so you're going to download the files on the right. And let me get out of here. Alright, so what are you going to do? Click on new. This doesn't already pop up for you. And your host name is going to be the name of your, um, the IP address of your iPod or iPhone. And depending on your router, it's going to be 192.168.x.x. .x. So, my router, it's .2. And then point two. But you're gonna go ahead and go on your iPod or iPhone, click settings, click Wi Fi, then click the little arrow. And it's gonna be under IP address. So just say 192.168.x.x, and you're gonna use that. So then put that in. Then the username is gonna be root, and the password is gonna be L. Like A L P I N E, right there. That's gonna be your password. And you're gonna use SFTP and allow SCP SCP fallback. And you can click save. Then you're gonna click login. And this might take a little while for you. It took like a minute or two for me, so just wait for it. And then it should pop up. And what you're going to do is make sure you extract the files via you going to extract the zip files that you got on the right for uh, Monkey Baller, Crash Bandicoot. And then you're going to go one file up and you're going to go to... Uh, slash private slash bar into stash and then right here in applications you're going to drag and drop your either monkeyball.app file or your ifuse.app file and you're just going to drop it in here and you're going to double click after you already drop it in and drop it in my ifuse is going to have none on it And this will pop up, and it's going to take a little bit of time. But, just wait for it. Monkey Ball took a little bit of time, but Crash Bandicoot only took like 20 seconds. 19. 
So if you're gonna double click on applications dot whatever, it might be different than mine. And then you're gonna go ahead and find your iFuse or your monkey ball file and you're gonna right click and then click properties and change the properties to 0775 and then set group owner and permissions recursively you're gonna check that and you're gonna click OK and this is gonna pop up and then you're going to uh, right click in some free space if you have any might have to make the file uh, the window a little bigger you're just gonna right click new in directory and then you're gonna make this file right here documents with a capital D and then you're gonna go file up go file up and then go to slash private slash bar mobile and make another documents folder in the two documents folders you're only to want them to be 0777 and set group bring this up set group owner and permissions recursively you're gonna click OK make sure you do that for the other one too I forgot to I think it's already set and then you're just going to restart your iPod or iPhone. Just turn it off and then turn it back on. And then you should have a uh, Crash Bandicoot, Monkey Ball, or any of the other apps that are available. At this time, there is only Monkey Ball in Crash Bandicoot, as far as I know. But I'll keep posting the links. And if you need a different method to put the application on your iPod, I will make another video, but at this time, this is all you need, so thanks for watching, and, uh, subscribe. What? Hey. Goodbye. Alright, so now you're restarting your iPod. And hopefully you use the dodgy run IPSW that I gave you because it's so cool. Um, then you're just going to restart and you should have the new applications on your iPod or iPhone. If you need any further instructions, just send me a message. And uh, I'll help you out. Maybe I'll have to make you another video. That's fine with me. But um, I want you guys to check out this guy. He helped me a lot with my iPod. His name is Ty. He has a uh, YouTube account, Ty's iPhone Help, and I will post that link. This Crash Bandicoot. I'll uh, put a, one of those little cool, um, like, tag things. Check him out. Subscribe to him. He helps everyone out so much. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe.